so this is my uh, site and it's my template page so the footer section designs is not working as expected so let's see inspect the uh, designs and then uh, we have to do some changes in our html so here i can see some li and ubl class and the same let me check in on my site yeah here i could not find that uh, ul class so i think i have to do some changes on this html section so how should i change this actually i, I have used the existing linguist component so uh, it's the existing sxa component uh, is, and uh, so it's coming from the html view and how should i change that so let's check that option uh, so i have used the linguist ren rendering um in the rendering and here in the feature and uh, experience accelerator and then navigation yeah here we can find our linguist comment so um, i think um, so we have to find the view path here so the view path is the empty so we can directly find the path in our ww root uh, go to ww root and then views and here i think we can find our link list yeah the link list is available so um, the html uh, tags are coming from this um file so here i can find the ul and then la la class and let's compare with my site so ul and li li class okay uh, so this is the html is um, rendering here um, so um, so i like to add this uh, social icon class to my ul tag then only I, it will automatically apply the css um, into my site so how should i add the um, class so the option is we can directly add the class here uh, but it's not a good practice because uh, whenever we do some upgrade in the SXA, uh, so that time they may add some changes in this file. So it may overwrite this file and we may lost our changes. So the best practice is we have we can use the same rendering, but we can create the custom view path for this uh, particular component. So how should I create the custom view path? So let me show that. Um, so for that, first we need to create a one new folder here. Let's create a new folder like the stand um stand block and then um copy this link list folder control c and paste it here and um, so again we have to create the views and move the link list folder here and then um go to the views folder and here we can find the web.config file copy that and paste it here so now we can see the path like stand block and then use and here we can find our linguist comment and then this our file so we can do changes on this file so let's add the class so um, but the class is not available here so i have uh, so i have created the um custom view path and now i have to map that custom view path with my side core back and then only it will automatically read the uh, html from my new path so for that first we have to go to this setting section so in the setting node and here we can find one um field custom view path custom rendering view path and here we can add our new view path the path name is stand block and then save the rendering first will check this custom path and then only it will take the default files so in my case for the link list component first it will check the link list view file within this stand block folder if it's not available then definitely it will go to the default folder so which is our default folder our default folder is view folders 
so the, this is my default folder so the linglist component first automatically check this path the stand block path uh, first it will go to this folder and then it will go to the views folder then it will it will check uh, uh, is the linglist is available or not in case if it if i delete this folder then definitely it will take the um, uh, view file from this view folder uh, so um, we have updated this uh, field and let's refresh this yeah my page has been refreshed and now we can see the changes are updated uh yeah now i can find the social icon it's um added in the class section and uh, so next um, we have added this class and so i think here we have used the div class we need to remove that so let's check that li and then div okay so here i can see only the li and then we have used the variant so the um, li is coming from the view file and the div is coming from our rendering variant so we can find the rendering variant in the presentation and then rendering variant and here link list and the default so let me duplicate this stand block and then go to this link and here i can see the tag is div tag so we can empty this and then save and let's open the partial design and then footer so it's loader let's change the rendering variant stand block and then save and then refresh yeah now it's working as expected nice okay um so the footer section is fine now we can see the footer section is looking so nice and so the next video we will check our header section